Oh boy, have we got one for you today. Marshall JVM 410, the flagship, the daddy. If you are interested in seeing what happens with this thing, stick around. So, I'm gonna stop filming. Just looking across her here. All the knobs look to be good. All there. Not switched on yet, we won't do that just yet. And here's a little bit of a problem. We've got rust here. Maybe not a massive problem, but not but not great nonetheless. Bit of dirt, we'll give it a clean up. Rust pitting on a transformer, although that's not uncommon on transformers. Not great. I might do some, a little bit of remedial work here. It's starting to lift up some. Mm, I might take this cover off, have a look underneath the, then re lacquer it if needed. Stop any more rust building up. Um, need to have a look inside the chassis and make sure this isn't ingressed any further. Um, tubes, we'll check them out. We'll put the tube tester on them, check voltages. We'll dial up on the variac in a minute to make sure everything's good. Um, I think there was some there was a rubber ring here before, but I think it's perished. Maybe, maybe not. Not massive, dear. Um, customer didn't have a foot switch with it, but what do you expect? I don't think he's going to be too worried about it. Pick up a new one of them. Let's have a look around the back. Around the back of her. Let's have a look. So, missing speaker nut. Oh, hairy. Um, back loop. Doesn't feel too bad. Oh, missing nut on there. Line out, foot switch in, power. Let's have a quick look-see at the fuses. Make sure it's the right one. Sorry, doing this with one hand is not easy. What do we want? We want a two amp. And we've got, where are you? Let's see, two amp, 250 volt. in the spare holder. These are cool, you get a little spare fuse holder in there. Very handy, very cool. So this is the right one. Someone hasn't stuck a nail in there to keep it going. Valve bases don't look burnt out or anything. Tubes don't look like they've been cooked. A bit more rust here. Not uncommon for, I don't think I've seen any old Marshall that doesn't have rusty transformers, to be honest. Um, right, let's get into the meat of the din. Ready to rock. Let's dial the variac down at zero. Power on. Right, we'll do it without being on standby first. Kick her off. We are at 70 volts, pulling two amps. So, no sign of a short. Just hearing the relays just came on. Yeah, let's dial her up. I have 238 volts coming out of my wall, so we'll dial up to my wall voltage. That's close enough, 0.3 of an amp. Cool. Right, dial it back down. Stand by on. Reassuring pop. That's cool. Bring it back up. Okay, power lights come on at 90 volts. Relays clicking in. More relays. Point three. Bringer up to working. Staying below 5 amp, 0.5 of an amp. It's about what we want to see. It's looking healthy. That's close enough. Hit the ground button. 
twist it like that. Oh, hiss, noise. Rubs are coming off. Crunch my. Oh. Hmm. Okay, clean my button. That's the only real issue I've found so far. Going back to clean, if I press crunch, oh, for, oh, I'm going back to clean then. There's an issue with salt. Okay, it looks to me like you can see that the gold panel is shifted in relation to the grey behind it, and it's pinching. Pinching the clean mode button. It still thinks it's depressed. Okay, so we have to have a look at maybe unsticking this panel and loosening up or wow. There's a lot of heat coming out of those tubes. I better get them on the meters in a bit and check those out. Here we go, one push, one push, one push, one push. That does change the yellow, there you go. Um, yeah, so there's some WD-40 just gently dabbed on there. I decant it into a little jar. Here we go. That's just to treat the rust a little bit. I'm gonna try and take some of this off. Yes. In a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll um, treat some of this rust, take it off. I'm thinking I may have to remove the main board from the bottom and um, just to double check what's in underneath here. It is concerning me a little bit. Um, doesn't look too bad in there. I might be okay. But, um, in many respects, better safe than sorry, eh? It's going to be a pain in the butt, but it needs to be done. Okay, just going to take a video of where all the connectors go. So you can see. And for me to remember, there's a visual reference to what's going where. I'll make my own little notes as well. I did find a surface manual, so it's not really an issue, but gives you guys a good view of a JVM 410. Lots of PCBs. And also, whilst this main PCB is going to be out, I can check the underside for any... Um, dodgy soldier connections because most of them are on that side we can see the valve bases here they look okay to be honest strangely the Marshall label v1 2 3 and 4 are the power tubes uh, v5 is the phase inverter and then sort of they've got v6 is v1 v7 v2 etc etc um yeah that's really helpful isn't it and then on the block diagram they actually call that one v1 v2 v3 so yeah loads of confusion um but for a pcb machine pretty tidy excuse the kids outside better them outside than stuck them in the ipad eh? okay that, that was fun um ingress of the rust a little bit on the inside we can clean that up and what i'm going to do i'm going to put some just some sort of lacquer varnish over it to so we kill the rust lacquer over it stop any more moisture getting onto it um so that's going to be part of the restoration there and i'm glad i did take the, the board out because if we take a look see this side yeah 
need to clean those valve bases up. The corrosion hasn't got into the contacts, but it is all the way around. And that just needs to be cleaned off. It's not nice. It doesn't need to be there. And we can get rid of it. So we're gonna do that. Wire brushes later on my rotary multi-tool. We've got all of that corrosion off down to bare metal. So we're down to bare metal. I'm not gonna respray it because I'm not going to match this grey because this is actually galvanising or, or some, some treating which obviously didn't work particularly well um, but I sprayed it with some lacquer varnish um, just to seal it in so we got rid of all the rust it's been wiped down with um, like a WD-40 mix and then alcohol clean that off then put the lacquer on so that's looking better over here valve base is all cleaned up this one, a bit of pitting on there, but the contacts inside are absolutely fine. They didn't get anything. It was the corrosion coming down the side of the, the holes here, resting on those valve bases, but that's all off. They've been treated as well, so they're fine. They, all the continuities on those tests are absolutely fine, so there's no point going completely changing them. They, they work, so yes. Please with that, next stage. Later. 37.5 milliamps gives us 70% dissipation. So let's stay on the conservative side of things. So. Should we, let's aim for 35. That will give us a bit of leeway. Difference. I like that where that is. So we've got one, two. So. Let's go from the highest. Thirty. Come back. So we're in Thirty and thirty four, that pair, thirty three, thirty five. Geez, that's pretty good. So, right, uh, let's double check the plate voltage because we have changed the negative bias. And we are looking at, still at 461. So, it should well be within reason. So, let's have a look at the bias calculator. Our voltage is still 461. Yeah, that's 69. So, if we're going to go. So, you put it at 35. 65.5% dissipation. That's good enough for anyone. A bit on the safer side as well. I am running that. We are at running at 238 volts, which is what comes out of my wall. Got 237 out of my Variac. So, if the wall voltages go up, that actually gives you a bit to play with. Because if I demonstrate here, we go up. Just increase that a touch. Say, so say we go, look, 241, 242. The bias is now at 36, 37. In which case, the voltages, do you know what It gives you a safe, a safety zone where you can work if your wall voltages go down or up. If this is kicking out a bit too much, the amp's going to be safe. If you bias that at 70% exactly or hot or very close to hot, and you get a higher wall voltage, your amp is going to be running way too hot and you could pop valves. So always go a little bit conservative. People go, oh no, you can go more, but trust me, it, what do you want to be going through power valves every day? Seriously? So this just takes care of those places where the wall voltages run just a little bit higher than most. Let's test, check her out now. Hello. Right. Marshall JVM410H 
all done, all working. Uh, I've just set this up. I had a plane, I've sort of set this up where, how I would use it. There's plenty of videos on all the other features on this amp and all the different sounds. I've just sort of set it up how I would use it, how I like it. Um, so I've set it up in a kind of, so sort of going from clean, crunch, now I like OD2 as a rhythm sound and then OD1 as a lead, more more so. Um, so I've just sort of picked my favourites out of this um, using my Bernie Les Paul copy. Um, yeah, check out this amazing amp. Yeah, I uh, like every, I always say I want one now. <laughs> On the clean channel I've got it on the orange mode which is a bit hairier there is a there's a green mode and if I tap this a few times quite possibly the best clean channel I've ever heard out of a Marshall um, I like a bit more hair on mine so go to the green mode and that engages the master volume on this channel um, puts a bit of hair on it. I never play completely clean. Need it completely clean, just back off a bit. JVM into reactive load set to uh, greenbacks with a 57 121 microphone um, and a bit of reverb from my Helix. Classic plexi. So it's kind of like goes 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s as you go around it. It's, it's literally their whole encyclopedia. channel. Uh, I think I've got it on the green mode. I've got this set like a JMP uh, 2203 sort of Is that toppy 70s JMP sound. Mode. Maybe I like that better actually. It's got a bit more fatness. Oh, I've got the resonance and presence cranked on it. There's a 
red mode. <laughs> Sounds very much like my um, 2204 um, copy. <laughs> then um, I'll go OD2 first because I've got it set slightly low. It all get, it's pretty much the same flavour, you're just getting more and more gain as you go through. This would be my kind of like heavier rhythm sound. A lighter gain rhythm. But OD1 on this amp is just... Good gravy. <laughs> is that Van Halen Brown sound of sizzle and the head. <laughs> strings out, what a surprise. Price alone just for that sound. Um, that's a sound that I, I know a lot of people have been chasing for a long time. Thank you. 
I'm not gonna bother going through any more sounds. That is the the dog's danglies. Um, yeah, um, this will be for sale. I'll put links in the description below for the owner. Um, if you want to buy this, you can. If I haven't bought it already. <laughs>